Hi folks, this is Melvin from Optoproductions.com and today I'm here with a short little video about mutable instruments, branches. Branches is a simple but powerful module. It features two identical Bernoulli gates, with the second input normalized to the first one. When you send a gate to the input, the module will initialize a virtual coin toss. If the coin lands on heads, the trigger is sent to output A. If the coin lands on tails, it goes to output B. So let's grab an LFO and a Pico drums, and I'll send a square wave output to the input one, and I'll connect output A to trigger one and output B to trigger two. And let's find some different sounds. All right. With the red and blue buttons, we can change the probability. All the way to the left, the output will always be output A. And the same is true for all the way to the right. And everywhere in between is a blend of the two. So if we slowly increase it, we will introduce some randomness, but still favoring the tails part of the coin. Almost like we're using a cheater coin. At 12 o'clock, the process will be truly random. Now, since the bottom half of this module is normalized, we can send triggers to a second Pico drums, for example. Without changing the second Pico drum module, we get some pretty interesting stereo effects. But of course, we can also use a mixer and use it this way. And maybe, oh, if we find some other sounds. So we're creating all these rhythms with only a single gate input. That's pretty powerful. All right. One thing we can change is that right now each output is triggered, meaning that a trigger is sent even if we get heads twice or more times in a row. If we press the button over here, we can activate latch mode. This time, only when a change occurs, will our output send out a trigger. So this time we can create rhythms with different note lengths. Note that if you right click, you can also change the mode from toco to latch, but it seems like the labeling is wrong on this one. It's the other way around. Right, I'm gonna show you another patch. Okay, so in this patch, you can hear the difference between latch and normal trigger mode. So output A is connected to envelope one, output B connected to envelope two, and the oscillator is sending both a saw wave and a square wave into a VCA mixer. So with trigger mode, both outputs are always triggering. But in latch mode, the trigger is only sent when a change is received. And this time when you turn the probability knob all the way to the right, it will just alternate between output A and B. Alright, I've made a 4 voice synth patch, which might look a little bit intimidating, but I'll walk you through it. In this case, we've got one clock signal going into branches and all outputs are sending to different envelopes. On top, we have two VCOs, a saw wave and a square wave going into two filters. I'll just disconnect this one for a second. And on the bottom, I have a noise generator and a VCO. The noise is going into a filter, which is being modulated by the envelope, just like over here on top. And in this case, the noise is going into a spring reverb. I've also sent the wet output to input two, so we can add some feedback. And over here, we have another oscillator. 
going to add some movement. I've added a random module, which is going into the decay. And also the LFO over here is going to different destinations. So the sine wave is going to the gauge module, which in turn goes to the release. We're constantly changing the release of this Visio. And that's basically it for this patch. But it truly really shows the power of branches. That with just a single gate input, we can route the signals to all kinds of destinations. So it's not just about the single module, it's about the context you place that module in. That's what makes it work. Which is true for everything in music production. Alright, that's it already for this module. Branches is not as deep as the other Mutable Instruments modules, but it sure is a very useful module to have at your disposal. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please let me know, and I'll see you soon with another VCV Rack tutorial. <laughs>